Hello friends and welcome back to Study Tonight's YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn about the fourth normal form. This is the sixth video in our database normalization series. So if you haven't watched the earlier videos, we suggest you do before this one. For a table to be in the fourth normal form, it must satisfy two conditions. It should be in BCNF and there should be no multi-value dependency. To satisfy second normal form, we removed partial dependency. And then in the third normal form, we removed transitive dependency. And this time it is multi-value dependency. So let's see what multi-value dependency is. A dependency A derives B is said to be multi-value dependency if for a single value of A, more than one value of B exists in a table. Also, for a table to have multi-value dependency, it should have at least three columns. Because if we have only two columns in a table, we can simply distribute the multi-value data into multiple rows and there is no need for decomposing the table. And the two other columns must not depend on each other. So we have three points which when occur together leads to multi-value dependency and they are for A derives B if for single value of A more than one value of B exists table has at least three columns and for a table with columns A, B, C if A and B have a multi-value dependency then B and C should be independent of each other. If all these are true for a table it will be having a multi-value dependency. Also, in a table, multi-value dependency can exist for more than one columns too. Let's take an example to clear all the doubts. So we have a table with SID, which is student ID, course, which is the course opted by the student, and the hobby of the student. Let's add data to our table. As you can see, one student has opted for two subjects and has two hobbies. You must be thinking what problem this could lead to. Well, student with SID1 has hobby cricket and hockey and has opted for subject science and maths. These two rows of data will give rise to two more additional rows. Isn't that right? And there is no relationship between course opted and hobby of the student. Hence, it's always advised to keep such attributes in separate independent tables. Now this can be decomposed into two tables to solve the problem of multi-value dependency and to make this relation satisfy the fourth normal form. This is how the decomposed tables will look like with student ID and course in one table and student ID and hobby in a separate table. In some cases, a table can have functional dependency and multi-value dependencies together. For example, if we add address to our table, our table will look like student ID, address, course, and hobby. Clearly, address of student will be functionally dependent on SID. While we have multi-value dependency between SID and course and SID and hobby. So this table will be decomposed into three tables to make this relation satisfy the fourth normal form. Multi-value dependency occurs due to bad database design. For example, if we have two tables, student and course, with SID and S name in student table and CID and C name for course in the course table. Keeping both the tables separate is a good database design. But what if someone decides to keep all the data together in one table? If we do a Cartesian product of the tables and try to keep data in a single table, it will look like this. And clearly, we have multi-value dependency in this situation. So design your database carefully. And with this, we now know what multi-value dependency is and how to make a relation satisfy the fourth normal form. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and do subscribe to the Study Tonight's YouTube channel. See you in the next video.